I'm Beth Opel. I'm the senior writer for Creating Keepsakes, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about something that you may not know is at your fingertips. You have a program on your computer that can help you do many of the exciting things you see on other scrapbookers' pages, but it's nothing that you have to buy, you've already got it, and it's something that's very easy to understand. So I'd like you to look over my shoulder today, and I'm going to show you how I design my scrapbook pages using Microsoft Word, and you can too. Okay, so now you're looking over my shoulder and you're looking at my computer screen and I have opened up a new document and when you open a new document you're going to see an 8.5 by 11 page because that is the default for the computer. Now, I personally design an 8.5 by 11 but I know many of you use 12 by 12, by 12 format so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So to change it to a 12 by 12 format you go up here to page layout and you'll see a little icon that says size. Click on that and it gives you all sorts of different sizes but in fact the one you want is not listed so you're going to go to more paper sizes and then it gives you a place where you can actually manually type in the size that you want. So we want it 12 width and 12 height. So we're just going to fill it in right there. Now if you were only going to use your computer for scrapbooking and you never wanted an 8.5 by 11 you could change this make it default. If you clicked on default it would make the 12 by 12 come up automatically when you're using your computer. But that's up to you. So I'm going to say OK and it's going to tell you, oh that's not going to work because you can't print it and you're like, I don't care, I'm just designing it. So you say ignore. OK? So now I have my 12 by 12 page. You may notice that I cannot see the whole page right here. So I'm going to click on view and I'm going to click on where it says one page so that I can see the entire page in my window right here. Alright? With me so far? Okay, now the first thing, I usually start with my pictures. And so I'm going to insert some pictures right into my document here in Word and I'll be able to see how they'll look on my page. So I go over to the top, going to the insert tab here, and then I find the icon that says picture, and I click on that, find a picture from file, and I have to find where I have it. You may have it in your pictures. I'm going to get some pictures from a flash drive this time. And so it's right here. And I'm going to choose these two. So I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to hold down the control key and then I'm going to insert them into my document. And there they are. Now, before I do anything else, I need to make them movable and make them cooperate with me. And so I'm going to click on them and notice when I click that you get these little balls all around the edge there. That means that it's ready to be edited. So what I'm going to do first is, if you look over to the far right, there's a little dog inside a line thing that says text wrapping. So if I click on that and then choose tight, that kind of allows me to be able to move it around on my page. And I'll do that with the other photo as well. Tight for both of them. Um, I actually think that I would like to switch these two pictures. So all I do is I hold down my left button and just drag it wherever I want it. And then drag this one wherever I want it. So I'm going to place those two right on the page um, in a place where I think it looks good for now and you know I don't have to commit to it because I definitely could change that later. Um, now from here if I wanted to change the size of these photos I could easily do that. Um, they are whatever size the file is when I put them in. So if I go to the corner notice how my cursor became like a little uh, diagonal error, arrow excuse me. Um, if I hold down and drag again with that left um, button on my mouse, I am allowed to change it. Now I want to caution you, do not fool around here because if I change that, look how squished the picture is. If I, um, you know, really kind of go to the top or the sides, I'm, I'm not changing all of it. I'm not changing it proportionately. Now I'm going to show you a really key button for anything you're doing in Word and that is in the far top up here you see a backwards arrow. That's your undo, just like undo for scrapbooking. This will take away the last thing you did and since I did two things where I squished that picture I'm going to click twice and get back. And actually I'll click a third time and I'll go back to that original size. Now I also am able to crop these photos. This is just amazing. Lots of people don't know you can do this. Let's try the other photo this time. Click on it and you see it's in editing mode because I've got these little balls around the edge. And then I'm going to go up here and, and you look on the, the menu and you see the little crop symbol. Click on that and notice the edges that appear on your photo. Now from here, anytime you drag one of these, so again, just hold it down 
and drag. Just kind of move your mouse. Um, it's going to take off that side of the page. If I go from the corner, it's going to take off both edges. If I go from the bottom, it'll take off just the, the bottom. Okay, so I can even crop my pictures right here in Microsoft Word. So again, we don't want to really do that today. So I just going to hit the undo and go back to the original size. All right, the next thing that I'd like to do is I can show you how to uh, kind of make the page background in uh, Word 2007. If you want to kind of try out what colors would work with your photos, you're going to go to the top and click the Page Layout tab. And then you find over here one that has a page bucket on it, and that's Page Color. If I click that, it gives me all kinds of colors available. And as I hover over them, it will show me how the background's going to look. Isn't that pretty awesome? I find that to be a very useful tool. So actually, I'm going to choose this light blue here as my background, because I think that might look very nice. Um, I also uh, am able to group these two pictures together if I want to move them as one. For some reason, I have to save this as an earlier version of Word in order for that to work. So all you do is go up to this very top left button, click it, and I'm going to hit Save As Word 97 2003. Okay, and it doesn't matter where you save it, it's just for your purposes of editing right now. So now, I'm able to click on this photo, hit Control, click on the other photo, and then find the button up here that says Group. Click it and it opens up the options and group is the only one you can do and now notice how this is just one big thing that moves all together pretty cool huh all right another thing we can do here with our pictures is I'd like to matte mine I'd like to see how they look with a, a white mat all around them so I'm gonna click on it and again I see this time that the balls are all the way around the outside and I want to make the the edges of this white so I'm gonna hit my drawing tools here and the drawing tools, these three right here, actually these two, are the ones that you're going to use pretty frequently. So shape fill, if I clicked that, it would fill the whole thing with a color. We, want to, we don't want to do that. We just want to do a mat or an outline. So shape outline, I'm going to choose white. Um, I want to make that a certain weight. I want to make it a little thicker so you can see it. So if you go down here to weight, and I think a six point would look really nice. So there it is with a white mat. Okay, pretty cool so far? All right, at this point, I want to put a place where I'm going to have my journaling. So I'm going to insert at the top here, and you'll notice that I have all these options here. And this time I want the one with the A and some writing, that's a text box. So I'm going to click the text box, and it gives you this crazy menu. And really, if you just go down here and say, draw a text box, that's all I want to do. And so what I do then is it has this crossed line, and that's where your box is going to start. And you just drag your mouse until you've created a text box in the size. And don't worry if it's a little bit off because you can use these on the side to adjust the size of it so I have it completely even with um, my photos at the top there. Now you see if you look carefully that there is naturally the default is a black outline. I don't want that black outline there so I'm going to right click or actually I can just go up at the top here and shape outline, same thing we did with the pictures but this time I'm going to say no outline. Okay, And there's my text box. I position my cursor in the text box and I can start typing my journaling. Okay, now if I want to arrange that font into a different size, I could just highlight it. If you go to the Home tab, here it gives you the possibility to change to any font that you'd like. Here gives the possibility to change what size of font you use. So, I mean, it's just like you would do in any kind of document. Okay.